Hi everybody, I hope you're safe and well. Today is not a Chats with Chaudhry, but it's a demo with Chaudhry. And today I'm delighted to be joined by Kenneth Berthelet, who is uh, from Waters. And we're going to be talking about a brand new product that Waters are launching at SLAS next week. Uh, so Kenny, first of all, how are you, my friend? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm very well. And I'm guessing we're not in your living room right now. No, um, I'm actually in the offices in Milford, Massachusetts, which is our headquarters, and I'm in the lab I work in all the time. Brilliant. Well, look, today you are going to be talking about the new Otto Specialist, which is an SMP sampling process. So please, let's uh, find out more about it. Why, first of all, um, are you launching this in the first place? Uh, so the auto specialist is kind of different than other uh, processing devices because it's it's semi-automated. And what I mean by that is the user doesn't control uh, the either the vacuum or positive pressure. The instrument is actually controlled by a type of software that controls that flow for you. Right. Um, and this is the also the only positive pressure manifold that you can use with a variety of different uh, SP configurations. Fantastic. All right. Well, look, so why don't you go ahead now and uh, show me the demo? All right. So I'm going to bear with me because I have to move my camera. So I'm going to try and move it nice and slow for everybody. Right. And I will switch views to speak of you so that they get a full view of the demo. All right. So this is the, the actual auto software. Um, and there are a lot of different things you can do with this. And for this demo, we're just going to um, use a pre-existing pressure profile, which is the first thing that you need uh, to really run auto specialist is a pressure profile right so what we're going to do is you can see here on the right we have all of the pressure profiles that exist on this particular instrument and these can be moved between instruments if you want but we're going to use one that i created a little while ago uh, which is this one down here and what we can do is we can actually edit this if we really wanted to right so what we can do is we can take one of these data points and as you can see i'm moving it around now it's over here. We can take that same data point, bring it back down. So you can edit these live. You can also create them from scratch if you want using one of three different modes um, for creating pressure profiles. Okay, can I ask a question? So the what variables are you actually editing when you move those data points? Yeah, so we're moving two things at the same time. The first is time, which is basically just a measure of, you know, when does the instrument do a different thing? Right. The other thing, which is represented as the y-axis here, is uh, pressure. Right. So it, this particular uh, method goes from 0 PSI to 41 PSI. Um, and those are really the two variables that you're uh, playing around with. Fine. And you want to adjust pressure to make sure you're not flowing your sample too quickly through the device, right. um, as that can cause some reproducibility and quantitation issues when you move on to analysis. Right. Um, so... Once we have a method, which, like I said, we're going to be using this one, a uh, pressure profile, rather. We're going to use this one. We're not going to save it because we didn't really change much. What we're going to do is we're going to go back to the start menu, and we're going to create a new method, which is the second thing that you need to run auto. When you're in here, this is literally the step-by-step -step process that the instrument's going to take. So the first thing we're going to want to do before we do anything else is we're going to want to close our manifold, which is this top button right here. If we touch it, it shows up. What that does is, and I'll angle just a little bit here, as it runs, and we'll see this when I actually run this, there's a piece that f comes down here and clamps onto this top cartridge holder, right. and that's the manifold that closes. That has to be down for you to run anything, so that's always the first step I take when I develop a new method, um, or make a new method, I should say. The next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add our pressure profile. So this, we're going to use the same one that we just, just looked at. Um, and again, this is something that anyone can make. Um, different people have access to uh, the same pr pressure profiles. So let's say an experienced SPE user makes a new method because they developed the method. Someone like um, a new hire could go in and use that exact same method without issue. Right, okay. Um, once the pressure profile runs, we're going to want to open our manifold because that unclamps everything. And typically, if we were doing a multi-step SPE process, we would have um, another more to our method. And usually what I do is between steps, I include what's called a pause. And what that does is, I'm going to bring my camera in just a little bit so you can actually see what's yep. on here. It has, you know, we can wait for five seconds 
or it can wait for the user. If, it, if you have wait for user, it will actually force you to click something on the screen before it moves on. Right. Okay. This is really useful if you have to say add solvent for your next step of the process. Um, and in the notes, you can actually include things like add one mil of your elution solvent or whatever notes you wanna have there. Um, we, we only have the one step, so I'm not gonna include the pause, but it's something that I like to point out whenever I talk about auto um, because it's so very useful. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this method. And if we zoom back down to here, we have four cartridges in our, in our holder. Yep. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some solvent and this slides out so that you can actually get access to the top of this, of this device. I'm just gonna add some solvent here. I have to point out, out to everybody that you're actually doing it with just one hand at the moment. It just shows how yep. easy it is. Yes. It is extremely easy to use, um, both from, you know, as you just mentioned, doing it one-handed, but it's also really easy to learn um, and, you know, really optimize. So it's, it's a pretty handy little instrument. Then you just slide this back, and there's actually a safety device. So if it's not all the way slid back, it won't run. You actually have to make sure it clicks into place almost. There's also an indicator light over here. It's hard to see, but right now it's green. Yep, It'll change yeah, it'll change color depending on what's happening with the auto instrument. So we'll keep an eye on that as well. So now that everything's in place, I'm going to hit run. Gives me that wonderful warning, don't stick my fingers in the manifold. I'm going to go, okay. Boop. Run. Let's try that again. And you'll see that manifold come down. It'll clamp. Yep. The light changed uh, to blue. And there's a light in the back that turned on. Now that light was put there so that people can see their sample being processed right. at the same time. And if we zoom pan back up to the top, we have a little blue dot that tells us what time we're at in the process. And that's really just setting up and running auto. We're gonna let this run for a little bit and then we'll look at what happens. Cool, so while we do that, I've got a few questions to ask you. So, Couple of things um, with auto. With auto, can you use a ninety-six well plate as well as cartridges? Uh, yeah. So this is actually uh, one of the few positive pressure manifolds that you can use cartridges, uh, plates, um, pretty much all sizes of cartridges as well. The one cc, the three cc, and the six cc, as well as the micro and macro elution plates. Right. And uh, how many cartridges can you process at a time? So that depends on your configuration. If you have one CC flangeless cartridges, you can fit 96. Uh, one CC cartridges with a flange and three CC cartridges, you can do 24. Right. And then the six CC cartridges, you can do, um, I believe it's 18. Right, okay. And obviously the auto's got some moving parts. So does the unit require a service plan? Um, we highly recommend a service plan just because like you said, there are moving parts and we wanna keep auto in that top performance. Um, as often as we can. So having a service plan really enables that really high level of performance all the time. Right, okay. And one final question before you go back to the demo. Um, do you have to create a method every time you're using it? Uh, no, so if there's already an existing method that works for a particular sample or a particular analysis, anyone who has access to auto can in theory run that method. Um, so it's really good if you're you know, training new people or you have multiple analysts running the same type of analysis, you can be pretty, pretty certain in the reliability of your method because everyone's gonna be running the exact same thing. Fantastic. So let's get back to the demo then. All right, so the, the operation is finished. It says on the screen, finished operation. So we're gonna go okay. And what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna pan back down to our samples. And this mixture is actually just, um, it's the installation test for auto. So it's got two colored dyes that we have to you know, separate. So we have the blue dye here, and there's a purple dye that stays attached to the cartridge. So this did exactly what we would expect it to do. We see the nice blue color across right. all four vials. Um, so that's you know, a successful demo, so to speak, of the installation test for auto. Um, I'm going to pan back out here. Fantastic. And I will go back to gallery view so we can see your lovely face, even though it is still masked. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Brilliant. Well, thank you for doing that. So um, if people want to know more about Otto, where can they get more information? So uh, the Waters website at www.waters.com slash auto. 
um, is the landing page for the auto specialist. And it has a lot of really good information uh, there. Brilliant. And of course, as we mentioned at the start, Otto is officially launched at SLAS uh, on Monday, the 27th. So if you are attending SLAS, please make sure you check out the Waters booth and see the demos done for you live because there will be live demos done via uh, video. So you can get live demos there as well. If you're just happy with Kenny's, Kenny did such a great job, but I'm sure there might be some other questions you might have so you can ask them at uh, SLAS. Um, and also um, there is a poster video which has been created to go with Otto. And the link to that will be above this video as well. So you can see both the poster and Kenny's video all through one post. So I hope you found that useful. Well, that's definitely said, Kenny, I appreciate you taking the time out, my friend, to do this and being in the office just to do the demo for me. So I really appreciate coming in and doing that for me. Thank you very much. No problem, anytime. And um, I hope you will find that useful. Um, Kenny, everyone else, I wish you a fantastic 2021. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful, happy, healthy, and successful 2021. And until next time, as always, Stay well, stay positive, stay safe. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.